Dan Colco, excited to be joined now by Adam LaRoche, our old buddy who's back with us yet again via Zoom. Adam, how you doing, man? Dan, I'm great, buddy. It's uh, it's good to see you again. Good to see you as well. We were just talking the last time we saw each other was a little over a year ago when you were back in D.C. Uh, for Ryan Zimmerman's Ring of Honor uh, and Jersey Retirement Day. That was a, a really fun weekend overall. It was great getting to see you and uh, kind of relive some old memories and now you're back with the Nats in a different capacity, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but I wanted to update fans on what you've been up to lately. Share share with everybody what the life of uh, Adam LaRoche is like these days. Well, um, you should know better than to ask that, but since you did, I, I will explain. Man, it's been it's been a whirlwind since, since I retired, which was 16, 2016. It's hard to believe it's been that long ago. The year's been flying, but... We've been going crazy with work on the foundation, on the foundation stuff. So part of that, as you know, is bringing, you know, veterans out here to our ranch and, and just serving those guys and giving them kind of a breather and a recharge. Um, and then a lot of the the counter human trafficking work and then some of our other global work with um, uh, the Afghanistan crisis. We just finished that up last week with our last mm -hmm. Afghan allies, moving them out and, and on to safety. And then. Ukraine kicked off and all kinds of stuff around the globe. Uh, it's been really cool to uh, to have, again, since leaving baseball, the, the team we have built up now with, with NE3 has been, it's pretty humbling. Some of the guys and girls I get to work with that, um, that just do incredible work. So, yeah, crazy busy. Both kids out of the house. I'm a grandpa now. Fish, I got a, I got a year old grandson. Drake, uh, Drake got married a couple years ago and, and they've got a baby, um, man, it's been great. Yeah. It's cool. When you played, you made such an impact on the different communities in which you played. And now you've gotten to broaden that out and do so much good around the entire world. Really? That's, that's not hyperbolic to say that, um, you know, you are seven years removed from your playing days and you are so busy with all these other different ventures. Do you have time or uh, a passion still to to monitor baseball and what Major League Baseball and the Nationals are, are like these days? Or Man, is your life just too crazy for any of that? It really is. And I'm not even embarrassed to say I just I don't I don't watch a ton of it. You know, I keep up with the guys that I played with or against. And, you know, you make so many friends over the years. And, and sadly, a lot of them like Zim, you know, a year ago are, are now retiring and, and making making me really feel my age at, at 43. Um, so I keep up with it through through the guys, not necessarily through the standings or or stats. Um, but that shouldn't shock you because I really didn't even keep up with that when I played. So <laughs> true. Nothing, That's nothing true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my favorite were the post game interviews where uh, you, you you maybe were learning about different pieces of information that happened around the league as we were telling them to you. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry about that, buddy. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good, <laughs> buddy. Um, so one of our favorite traditions with the Nationals every year is that not only do the Nats host the July 4th game every year, but it's a special 11 o'clock game. It's the only game going on that time of that day. You played in a couple of those, obviously, in D.C., and now, Adam, you're going to get a really cool opportunity to be a part of that July 4th game and broadcast, even though you're not going to be in D.C. at the time. Tell us about this amazing opportunity that you've yeah. been presented and uh, are going to participate in with members of the Nationals organization. Yeah. And let me start that off by saying, you know, I get asked all the time, like your your, your favorite team you played with or your favorite mm -hmm. city. And um ironically, a lot of times it's from Braves fans and I know they're Braves fans and I have no shame in saying it was the Nationals. And, and I mean that um, just to be a part of that city as it kind of transformed into a baseball city, uh, the family and community that the Nationals are and, and stand for and just kind of what they meant to, to our family. Uh, hands down, my, my favorite place to play and, and got some lifelong friends there. And I say that because that just adds to, you know, this this honor to be able to go over to uh, Al Udeed Air Base. Correct me if I'm not That's saying correct. that yep. properly um, over in Doha, Qatar and and, uh, and watch the game with the boys. And, and hopefully I think we've got 8000 troops there. Um, our largest base in uh in that part of the world so 
I'm just, I'm really looking forward to just hanging with those guys and go over there and, and going over there and, and showing support and, and thanking them for what they do and continue to do for, uh, for us over here. And from what I understand, Adam, you're going over with Screech, with different members of the organization, and you're going to be bringing kind of the ballpark sort of experience to those servicemen and women over there as you guys are watching our broadcast on Masson via the American Forces uh, Network. So you guys are going to be watching yeah. the game and you're going to kind of be living it along with all of us. Is that right? Well, I think, yeah, I think that's kind of the idea is to make this feel like we're, we're at the ballpark and, you know, in DC watching a game. So uh, I don't want to give away too much. And I probably, I know I don't know all the details, but I think we're going to have like a first pitch and, you know, go through some of the, some of the pregame and some of the in-between innings action that uh, folks are going to be seeing back in DC. So it, it'll be, it'll be really cool. So it'll be myself and Kevin Franzen on the call that day. So okay. uh, you will have Franny. plenty of opportunities to uh, to make fun of us and tell some funny Kevin yes. Franzen stories to all the servicemen and women over there. And I'm glad you reminded me of that I'm going to have to go dig into the archives and and pull out some ammo uh, against uh, Franny. That's good to hear. So Rochi, why is this something that you think is important for yourself, for the Nationals, who, as you know, have made such a, an effort to have relationships within the military communities in D.C., outside of D.C.? Obviously, we know about the uh, the daily or the per game cap waving for all the servicemen and women that are there, the salute to service all of the visits to bases in the area. Why is this important for you to do and you feel like for the Nationals organization to continue to be involved in? You know, I, I, I've always been passionate about the military. Um, my mom would tell you I'm, you know, six years old, begging her to go to the Army surplus store so I can pick up some camo and, you know, play Army. So I've always been intrigued and passionate about what those guys did and do and girls. Um, when I started playing, and getting to spend some more time and have some access to some of the bases and just to go support in some of the ways. I got to go with the Nationals. Um, I got to go over to uh, Afghanistan. I think it was back in 14, you know, and spend some time over there. So just a lot of opportunities. And really, when I came to D.C. to play with the Nationals and got to spend time at Walter Reed is mm -hmm. when um, that that passion just really expanded and I, and I had a much deeper appreciation for their lifestyle, um, th their wives and what the families have to deal with when these guys are gone for months at a time. Uh, so yeah, I think just getting familiar with, with their world and, um, the, the sacrifices that those guys make and continue to make back here, as you guys probably know, we're losing a lot of them to suicide still. Um, so there's some, yeah, there's just a ton of sacrifice there. And I remember playing with the nationals first couple of years, you know, when that really hit me, I, I, I never looked at that, uh, that flag the same during the anthem where I used to just kind of take it for granted, you know, all right, let's get the game going. It, it, it turned into a, a much more significant, kind of purpose. Um, so now when I'm done, uh, now that I'm done playing, you know, to be able to host guys out here at the ranch and then do things like this trip with the Nats over to uh, the bases and support them. You know, that's one of those things that I will, I will make the time and, and clear out the schedule for an opportunity like this. Well, very cool for you. Very cool for the Nationals as well to continue that uh, relationship with so many service men and women in the DC area outside. You're going to get to visit those 8,000 uh, servicemen and women. You're going to get to tour the base there in Qatar, um, and you're going to get to bring the ballpark experience to them. And as I said, on uh, American Forces Network, this game will be aired across the entire world. So Nationals fans at serving at any base around the world, when they turn on American Forces Network, they're going to get to watch their Nationals. And we'll be showing various clips of what you guys are getting into at the base there in Qatar. And uh, we'll we'll get to bring that experience to them. So I, I'm fired up to watch it from afar. And I know you're you're really excited about the experience coming up here really soon. Oh, uh, and all that on the 4th of July, too. It's just, yeah. it's, that's perfect, man. I'm 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 excited about it. This, this Adam, 
Great catching up with you, man. Thanks yes, for sir. doing this. And we're uh, we're really looking forward to seeing all the fun that you guys have over there. And we're going to air it uh, live on our broadcast so everyone can uh, can be a part of it. Right on, man. I will uh, see you soon then. Sounds good, buddy. Take care. Thanks, Dan. You too, bud.